uh, this video will uh, is part one of a two-part series uh, that will demonstrate how using uh, custom programming using the C Sharp programming language and the Tecla Open API, how that can be used to uh, automate uh, common day-to-day uh, -day activities like modeling columns and beams. Um, uh, reading from a PDF document to create the uh, information needed, as well as um, using the Tecla Open API to um, uh, produce some information from the model and to actually create the columns and beams. There's a lot of information to be, pre be presented, and um, I, I have trouble getting uh, the first section of the video in this 15-minute section. Uh, the first section of the video, this one, will uh, demonstrate how we gather the information that we need for what we show in the second video, which is um, reading the information. Tecla will then read the information, and, and it's actually kind of a easier function to create the columns and beams. Um, the hard part is gathering the information. Now, uh, in this case, you'll see that uh, I have a uh, PDF inserted into the model. And uh, the PDF um, is a very useful tool. So if you're if you're working with Tecla and you're not uh, using uh, the insert PDF command uh, to insert uh, these reference models, um, you should. They, they are a big help. Everything is there. And... Um, the beam sizes, so you don't have to be looking from one screen to another. Uh, you just look at this screen and you can model uh, columns and beams into place without any uh, problem. Uh, and uh, so it's easy to do. So, uh, but I'm going to remove that because we're, we're going to we're going to model these automatically. However, uh, we weren't able to uh, automate the procedure very well with this inserted uh, PDF, uh, as good as it is, because uh, once it's inserted, um, once the PDF document is inserted into Tecla, it becomes a bitmap. It's just an image. It's got no information in it at all. You can't, there's just nothing to um, work from. And so as we approach this um, to, to uh, produce the uh, files needed, we uh, work with the PDF design drawing outside of Tecla. I'll slide the uh, PDF drawing that we're working from into view. And uh, there isn't very much that I can describe to it. Uh, but I will mention this. PDF documents um, are programmable documents. They are actually a program that displays an image. And um, they can be uh, an image, so the PDF can just simply be an image, but uh, they can uh, be searchable documents. They can be smart documents. You can have programming code running inside of a PDF. And uh, that is so important. So please keep in mind, a PDF is not just a display of a printed page. It is a programmable document. And, and so... Um, you know, whether it's a smart PDF or an inter interactive PDF, there's a tremendous amount that can be done with uh, PDFs. And one of the advantages of our business was that years ago, I got involved in uh, programming and, and saying that if I was going to work with PDFs, uh, I was going to learn how to program them and make the most of the PDF document. And that was a very good decision. Um, being able to master PDF documents is a real help to uh, a detailing business. Um, I've made a number of these videos and had them reviewed by people. And, and uh, I can say that because of my ability to develop the uh, program that, that generates this um, report, um, I tend to offer too much information. We run out of time. So what I'm going to just say here is that uh, um, we, we have code running in the PDF that will generate the um, information we need. Now, we, these uh, red lines are inserted by us. They are necessary. And um, they, they allow the code to, to recognize 
um, a grid uh, identification because the program has trouble rec reading the uh, the grids from the PDF. But um, I'll just run the program now and then we'll generate the code because it takes a while to do this. So above the um, design document, we have a, what appears to be an empty sheet, but it is far from an empty sheet. And in this uh, button here, we have the programming code that will capture the um, profiles from the uh, drawing. Uh, any beam that is um, located on a grid line, uh, it will capture that uh, information and uh, write it to a report. Uh, and I'll display the report when we're done. So I'm just going to run the program. Okay, it's only going to take a short while. There's a, a progress bar running below the screen, but I, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the um, program has read the PDF and has created its file. Uh, the file is over here as an attachment, and I'll just save it to the uh, work folder. I've got my uh, folder here, and here's the information from the PDF, and I'll just copy that, and now I'll show you what's in that uh, this document here. The um, file that the program running in the PDF generated is fairly simple. It's, uh, it just simply captured the grid line identifications and uh, and the beam profiles. And you'll notice that uh, every beam is on a grid line or it wouldn't be included in the list. So here's this beam is along grid line one and it extends from uh, grid line A to C. And this, um, this beam here is along uh, grid line A and it extends from grid line two to three and we've got all the grid lines included. Um, this beam is uh, along a uh, grid line 14 and it extends from J to N. So um, the program will not capture all of the beams, but it does capture a beam that is centered over uh, not necessarily a grid line, uh, but a beam that is um, where we have these red lines over the, um, the column and beam lines, it will capture that. And so some of the beams aren't on a grid line, but in the drawing, we've placed a red line over them and the program will read that. So that, that generates our list. So we're already at seven minutes, holy. Uh, I'll just show you the, the next part because there's two files. Okay, I'm just gonna turn off the um, reference grid and I'm gonna bring the um, this tool in. And now the tool is going to read the coordinates of the grid in the Tecla model we don't need to select the grid because uh, in this case, there's only one grid in the model. And so then on the uh, design drawing, we're gonna, this, uh, we could just press the button and write and it would capture all the uh, coordinates of the grid, but some of the uh, columns are offset from the grid. And so we've quickly got to bring that in. And okay, so let's just quickly get here zoom up a bit uh, grid line uh, a is 13 and a half inches offset and just to get the model going here um, grid line n is 13 and a half inches offset so I uh, have to speed this up okay it's 13 and a half now grid line n it's offset upwards so n is uh, minus 13 and a half. And um, then we got uh, grid line one. So grid line one is offset 13 and a half inches. Uh, we got to select inches here. It won't work. Time is just flying. And um, grid line 14 is offset 11 and a half inches.
and grid line uh, 15 here at the bottom is offset 10 inches. Minus 10 inches. Okay, so then I'll just uh, write that and it'll create its file. It'll read. You can see here it's in the since this is running in Tecla, it's going to uh, the Tecla notification will say it's capturing the grid coordinates. And we're coming up to 11 minutes. And it's written there. Okay, so it's done. So there you can see it's it's here. It's been written. And so these are the two files that the program is uh, going to uh, read. And uh, look for that in the uh, next uh, video. The You'll see the uh, program uh, reading these. And um, then you can uh, watch it create the beams and the columns. Thanks for looking at this video.